bring in now international affairs analyst Joel Santoma to give us his perspective on the visit. Hi, uh, Joel, thank Hi. you for joining us at, at this time on TVC News. What do you make of this royal visit? Well, it is a good thing for Nigeria, given the fact that um, this visit could be seen as an image building thing for Nigeria. Um, as you rightly said in the course of the news, um, he boarded the ship in order to check um, for the Navy to demonstrate the strength of the nation. It's an image building thing. He had initially um, scheduled, he was initially scheduled to go to Jusk, which was canceled. You know, he's much interested in making sure that the reconciliation between the herders and the farmers um, is something that um, is adequate. But unfortunately, that has been canceled. All right. And then there's another claim or another perspective to this royal visit. Like you said, it's not the first. Uh, it, it, it's been in a series, the Gambia, Ghana, and now in Nigeria. But then it's been said uh, that uh, Prince Charles, or, or, or the Duke now, is representing Great Britain in order to reinvent the country now, post-Brexit now, well, when you look at all that has transpired now uh, with following the uh, British government's decision uh, to leave uh, Europe? Well, the truth is, um, you know, with the Brexit thing that is happening in the United Kingdom, the, the country is actually stretching out their hands to their friends. And we're part of the Commonwealth, and the Duke actually represent the United Kingdom. So his visit, as it were, would be um, to continue from where um, the previous visit um, that, that the UK government made to Nigeria stopped. So it's, as it were, um, a, a point of um, br bringing the, 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 the strength of both nations together, because the United Kingdom, in the course of the Brexit, would actually need Nigerian. Nigeria and most other um, Commonwealth nations in order to continue to try. And how much of opportunities uh, can be gotten now with this visit to Nigeria in, uh, in terms of uh, agriculture, uh, the, the market that is, tourism, skilled labor, how much of opportunities could this even mean now for Britain? Well, it, it, it will be a great thing for both nations, Nigeria and Britain. You know, the, the Prince Charles is actually a farmer himself, and a good one for that matter. So he, he, these sort of visits don't just come empty. They have some other things that they will be discussing, which you and I would not know at this present time. We'll know probably at the later part of the, after the visit, post the visit, we'll find out what arrangement, if there are any, that they had entered into. In fact, it is a good thing for Nigeria that he actually made the, the last part of his visit to, to, to Africa. Um, he made Nigeria the last stage of his visit. So it's a good thing. All right, let's quickly talk about the purpose and relevance of the Commonwealth. Of course, that, that, that has you know, been raised in, in our conversation so far. Uh, what do you uh, will be uh, the Commonwealth like under the reign of Prince Charles, noting uh, that uh, indeed the Commonwealth isn't uh, hereditary, yet we know that Prince Charles has been built to lead the Commonwealth of about 53 nations. Once he takes over the leadership, once the mother abdicates powers to him, automatically all the powers that the mother has now will go back to him. And the queen has been amazing. You know, although some people would say that the Commonwealth has been so quiet, it's always when the United Kingdom needs something from the Commonwealth. And that's where they remember we are all within the same umbrella. But I believe that the, 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 the prince would bring some sort of 21st century um, twerk into into the process. So uh, once he takes over power, I believe the Commonwealth will come back to what it used to be before now. It's been very quiet and they are trying to rejig it as much as they can. And we're waiting to see how much they go on that. Indeed, we'll see how uh, the Commonwealth will be under the reign of Prince Charles. Joel Santoma, thanks a lot for speaking with us on TVC News. Thank you for having me.